Hello, my name is Paul Ensworth, and today I'm talking to you from Mahe, our chef's table and development kitchen right here in Padstow. Now we're going to do a beautiful spaghetti carbonara using amazing Cornish ingredients for the Eden Project's Festival of Discovery. So, what do we need? We've got some beautiful sausages and Cornish smoked cured bacon from Philip Warren, some lovely Trewithin butter, some St. U eggs, some pasta which we've made at our restaurant at Cafe Reggiano using beautiful flour, again those lovely St. U eggs. We've got some flat parsley, lovely fresh green flat parsley, a little bit of parmesan, a little bit of garlic puree which I'll explain how to make, it's very very easy, and a lemon, and that is it. Equipment, a bowl, a whisk, a grater, a spatula, a knife, some salt, some pepper, a little bit of oil, and a pot, which we've got some water in to cook our um, tagatelli, a little pan for our chicken stock, and this frying pan to roast our bacon. So that's the first job we're gonna do. We're gonna get our nice, we're going to get a nice heat in our pan. So I'm gonna just turn that up, and we're gonna take our bacon. So here I'm using, from Philip Warren's in Launceston, I mean, this here, you could, you, could, you could eat it raw, it's that good. It's beautifully cured, lightly smoked, and again, an amazing product that, if you haven't been to Philip Warren's, please go. It's absolutely fantastic. It's not just for kitchens and restaurants. They have this amazing farm shop just off the A30 at Penny Gillum, and I really, really recommend going and doing your shopping there. It's absolutely first class. So with the bacon, I'm just gonna cut it into little pieces. Now, as chefs, we call this a lardon. Now you can see here, I'm using a streaky bacon, so from the belly. So we've got a nice layer of protein and fat, and it's that lovely fat that is gonna give us beautiful flavor in our carbonara. And when we're roasting it, that fat's gonna get really nice and hot and send our bacon lovely and crispy. I'm just going to cut it into lovely, even sized pieces. Now you can see as well, I've broken, say broken, I've taken the bacon into layers. I haven't just cut it in one big chunk. So it's much easier to separate when we put it in the pan. At this stage, I'm just going to add a little bit of oil, not too much because where we're using the streaky bacon, we've got that nice layer of fat going through there and that's going to come out and render in our pan. And I love this dish because I'm using fresh pasta. As I say, we make all our own, all our own pasta at Cafe Reggiano, but just go out and buy dry pasta, a really nice quality dry pasta. It will take a bit longer to cook. As I say, this is fresh pasta, which we basically made and then dried slightly. So that'll take about 45 seconds to a minute, whereas your dry pasta will take a little bit longer more like six minutes, eight minutes, but again, you'll achieve the same results. And dry pasta is, there's nothing wrong with dry pasta, it's absolutely delicious, and there's some amazing ones to get there. So we've just cut the bacon, our pan's nice and hot, and now we're just gonna put that, and you see, I'm just gonna spread that around the pan, all right? Now at this stage, little tip for you, first tip, do not shake the pan, okay? When you shake the pan, you lose the heat. What you want is, by all means, move the ingredients so you're using all the surface area of the pan, okay? And in a minute, as that starts to get hotter and hotter and that bacon starts to release its fat, okay? Then you can start to kind of really move it around. But at this stage, just spread it out, leave it, and let it do its thing. Just gonna add a tiny bit more oil into there, all right? Our water's come up here. So at this stage, I'm just gonna turn it down. All right, I'm not gonna add the salt yet, all right, because if I add the salt too early while I'm doing these jobs, the water's gonna reduce and the water will become more salty. You just need to season the water just as you're about to add the pasta. It will dissolve instantly. Here, I've got a pan with just a little bit of chicken stock. So I'm just gonna add into my pan some thyme. Now I'm using a chicken stock. If you don't wanna use chicken stock, Use, if you want, just use some water. If you want to use some vegetable stock, whatever you want, okay? So I'm using chicken stock. It's got a lovely, lovely flavor. All right, I've just added a little bit of thyme. And now I'm gonna come on to these Philip Warren sausages. So they call this the Old Cornish. And it's 
absolutely delicious. Just simply pinch the end, all right? And just roll in your hand like that, okay? And you're gonna really, really love what we're gonna do. This is gonna give our carbonara just a little different take and spin on it, all right? Now, classically, carbonara is always with smoked bacon, Gwen Charlie. Gwen Charlie is basically like a cured pig cheek, absolutely delicious, all right? And that's what we're doing here. We're just using different elements of pork just to give a really, really nice kind of family style meal that you'll just, once you've made this, you'll make, you'll go back to it time and time again because you'll see how easy it is to make because you could do the sausage balls like I'm doing here a day in advance. Now you're probably thinking, well, why, why can't you just put them straight in the pan with the bacon? They're a little bit bigger, they're a little bit denser and just by lightly poaching them, one, it gives them a really, really nice flavour, but secondly, it then gets them really, really nice and moist. So then when you add them to the pan, you're just getting that lovely caramelised flavour. So, that's plenty there. Now if you look at the bacon, I'm not touching it. You might be at this stage a little bit worried, you can see it's starting to really get crispy. You can smell, the smell is incredible. All of that beautiful fat is released from the bacon. And this is the great thing about cooking. This is a lovely meal to be cooking at home. Glass of wine, nice and relaxed. A few simple ingredients, beautiful ingredients. And again, a kind of meal that you just put in the middle of the table for all the family to enjoy. So I've just washed my hands. And now I'm gonna have a look at our bacon. So if you wanna come in nice and close. And again, I'm not gonna move that pan. I don't wanna lose that pan. I don't want to lose that heat from the pan. I'm just going to gently move that bacon. And now you can see every piece of bacon starting to get lovely and crispy. And we're going to keep going. We're not going to take that out now. We want to really, really get that bacon beautiful and crisp. Because what's going to happen is when we create our sauce through the egg yolks and a little bit of the, little bit of the pasta water, that's almost going to kind of, if you like, rehydrate that bacon. So we want to get as much flavour as we can now by getting it lovely and crispy because it will soften once we kind of make that sauce. So you can see now we've got this lovely fat. And by not shaking that pan, there's just that tendency when people just seem, they think as soon as they put something in the pan, they just need to shake it. You don't. Because also now as well, we've got a lovely control heat. Whatever kind of stove you have, whether it's induction, whether it's gas, you'll find your heat. And you can see now I'm just moving that bacon around and I haven't got to adjust my heat because I haven't lost the heat in my pan. I know now I've got this lovely balanced heat. So that's that. So now we're gonna take these lovely sausage balls here. So this stock, as you can see, is just nice. It's just steaming, I don't wanna boil it. I'm going to put that back onto the back onto the heat. I'm just going to add our lovely sausage balls into that stock. As you can see now, bacon's getting beautiful and crisp. We've got our lovely sausage dumplings balls, whatever you want to call them. Got a little what here we call a cartouche. So simply you just Fold that like so, put it into the pan, cut, cut it halfway, and then open up until you've made, open it up until you've made a nice circle. So we're just gonna pop that on top, just so those lovely sausage balls beautifully steam. We just want that heat nice and, see that? We just want that heat nice and low. Now, you can just see, we can just roll them around and that steam just gonna beautifully poach those sausages. Right. Next, before we get our pasta in, our pasta is going to take no time at all. We'll turn our water, we'll turn our water back up. So that's going to come back up. Now I'm just going to take four egg yolks. So all that lovely fat. Trust me, we're not going to waste that. This is a this is a dish where you use this is a dish where you use everything. So I'm going to take our egg yolks. Now these are beautiful, beautiful eggs from our good friends at 
St. U. And then you'll see in a second why these are the most amazing yolks. Just look at the colour of that. Chickens that have a great life and eat really, really well and produce amazing, beautiful Cornish egg yolks. So I'm just going to crack our yolks. So at this stage, I'm just going to, if you just look at that coming through, it's not burnt, it's beautiful and golden, and that's our fat. I'm not going to strain it all off at this stage, just some of it, okay? And we're going to use that. Now, listen to that sound. That is what you want. Every single strand is beautiful and crispy. So I'm going to keep that back, we're going to come back to that. That's our egg yolks. Our whites, we'll pop over there. Again, we don't waste those, we can use those in other recipes. Now if you just hear that lovely sound of the bacon, beautiful and crisp. Now I'm gonna have a look at my sausages and now I'm just gonna move that bacon to the side of the pan, like that. And you can see here, it's all about enjoying the cooking, being in control. Now I'm just gonna lift off our greaseproof paper Put those straight into our bacon fat, and now they're they're cooked. And all we want to do now is get wonderful colour. So the colour is the flavour. And the things like this, all the work, all the work has been done for you, because. That's what it's about, buying brilliant ingredients. Now, that, remember that lovely bacon fat? Just gonna put a little bit of that in there to cook our sausages. But by using brilliant bacon, brilliant sausage, your life is just so much easier by really kind of supporting your butcher, your fishmonger, and getting great ingredients that for me, you know, are just what cooking's about, using brilliant ingredients that are full of flavour, been cared for, been whether it's been reared, produced, grown, sown, whatever, you know that you've got great produce and that's what we've got here and in Cornwall we're absolutely surrounded by it. So those are our sausages, our bacon's nice and crispy, so you can see here now we're in real control. I'm still not going to put that pasta in yet, I'm now going to Turn my heat up to get that pasta up to the boil. Now with your egg yolks, we're gonna add in, we're gonna add in our cheese. Okay. Now we can always add more. So what we're doing here is we're basically kind of making a making a sauce. We've got four egg yolks, so I think probably got about in here now, about 50 grams of cheese, right? But again, it's your dish. You make it as palm, as palm as that flavor as you want. So now whisk that like that. Look at the color of those eggs. So that all that is, is your egg yolks and your parmesan. I'm gonna add a little bit of that lovely bacon fat in there. So again, flavour, flavour, flavour. I'm going to add a little bit of our water from our pasta. And now you can see that's just loosened it slightly. Got that lovely, lovely flavour of the bacon fat. Okay. Done, right? That's that ready. Now I said to you, garlic puree. Really, really simple to make. 
sheet of tin foil, get your garlic, your whole garlic bulbs, okay? For that amount there, two whole garlic bulbs, okay? Drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of sea salt, put a little sprig of thyme in there, wrap them up, put your oven on about 130 degrees and cook them for about an hour. When you pull them out of the oven, you'll pull back the tin foil, you'll be left with the most glorious smell of just beautiful roasted garlic and then pop the cloves out of the bulb and then you just literally just squeeze them out and they'll be beautifully cooked and soft. This here is delicious and this is what's not gonna give you bad breath, all right? You will not get garlic breath from this because it's cooked, it's sweet and it's a really lovely taste, taste of roasted garlic. Right, our sausages. So we're just gonna turn those over in the pan like that. So you see you've got that lovely caramelization. And you can see already how delicious they are. Now, I'm gonna add in that garlic, okay? And I'm just gonna see it dissolving beautifully in the pan. Now I'm gonna fold in the bacon. And now we really start to ramp things up. And add all of that garlic. So, quick recap. We've got our four egg yolks, about 50 grams of grated parmesan gone in there, a little bit of the pasta water and a little bit of that lovely rendered bacon fat. We've got our parmesan here because we want some more of that at the end. If we just come in nice and close here, you can see now, if only you could smell this. Just crispy, beautiful rendered bacon. Our lovely little poached and then roasted sausage balls. We've got our water coming up here now, so I'm just gonna season that. And again, when you're cooking, always be thinking about your seasoning, your layers of flavor. So all along the journey of your dish, it's got layers and layers of flavor, which generally comes through seasoning, acidity, and just thinking about everything. So here we've got our water and our salt. So again, those little details, have a taste. That water tastes lovely and it's got a slight saltiness to it. That is what you're after, okay? So next, we're gonna add in the pasta. Now you notice I'm not putting any oil in there. There's no need. It's a waste of good olive oil. All you want to do is add your pasta in, give it a little stir, and as long as that water's nice and seasoned, that's the most important thing, not wasting good oil. Just stir the pan. Let that pan gently come up. This pasta is not going to take long to cook at all. Always have a colander ready. I'm going to turn that heat now up into our bacon. We've got our egg yolks there, as I said. Now, the last final ingredient is some parsley and some lemon. So while we're just waiting for our pasta to cook, again, I'm just going to run my knife gently through this fresh parsley. Now you see I'm not hammering it into the board, I'm literally just tearing it. And where I'm using the flat leaf, there's nothing wrong with those stalks, nice and fine, so we're not wasting anything. And I love this type of parsley because it's got that lovely grassy kind of flavor to it and it's just so beautiful with the carbonara. Now you see here, pasta's not stuck together, don't need that oil, it's just lovely seasoned water. So I'm just gonna have a taste. Beautiful. Straight away, that's, that is literally 45 seconds. It's got a little bit of bite to it, but it, not too much. Just gonna drain that off. Like that. Now, 
at this stage, adding some lovely olive oil. That's when you should be using olive oil, not into the pan. So now you're just dressing that pasta and straight away you can smell the warmth of the pasta. Just gives that lovely grassiness and that lovely flavour of the olive oil just comes to life. So we're just going to add in a little bit more. So we're just glazing our pasta. Now we're ready, we'll turn the heat up. Onto here. I'm going to add a little bit of that pasta water in here. And all those lovely crispy bits on the bottom of the pan, you can start seeing now, are going to literally just move. And we start to create that sauce. And this bit's real quick, just take your time, straight away, in with your pasta, okay? Now what you want to do here is just glaze the pasta. If you just come in nice and close there, just glaze that lovely, lovely pasta. Look at it, it's absolutely beautiful. All of those lovely crispy bits of bacon, the bacon fat, everything is absolutely delicious. Now at this stage, we're now we're just going to add in our egg yolks and parmesan. I've still got the stove, I've still got the stove on. And now I'm just gonna gently, we don't wanna scramble our eggs. Remember there's so much heat in that pan that those eggs are gonna just beautifully cook. And you can see that lovely sauce we're making there. All right, so that goes back on the heat. We're gonna add in more of our pasta water, like that. Our parsley goes in at this stage. And again, just, you can just see that, look how beautifully moist and how much lovely sauce you're creating there. Oh my goodness. It's bright, it's colorful, those lovely eggs. And remember, take it off the heat now. Now this is where you turn off your heat, all right? So you've got that lovely sauce. So now at this stage, lovely taste. The bacon's still got that crisp, it's rich, it's creamy. Now we just want to cut it with some lemon, which goes beautiful with this. It just really complements the egg those lovely rich egg yolks. The parmesan, the balance of the parmesan is absolutely spot on. And you just move it around and it's lovely and it's creamy. And now you just go into your bowl, just turn it so you get a nice beautiful amount of pasta. Just into the bowl like that. Pasta's not overcooked, it's still got loads of texture, but it's not too al dente. You've got all those lovely crispy bacon bits. I'm just gonna put some of those lovely sausage dumplings just on top. The parsley giving it nice freshness. We've got that lovely lemon. And again, you could put this, look at that, that into the middle of the table for your family. Serve up. Then we're just going to add two more things. We're going to take a, we're going to take a nice bit of parmesan over the top, like that. And then with that same lemon, we've got the lovely juice in there. Just a little bit of lemon zest. Now, literally just a few ingredients: some pasta, some sausages, some lovely bacon, some beautiful parsley, and as you can see, quite a simple recipe just to follow along put down in the middle of the table for your family. Just a few beautiful, simple Cornish ingredients. My name's Paul Ainsworth and this is my recipe for the Eden Project Festival of Discovery. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching.